somehow making his way into the game. Never in his winning fight went to a decision. Eight knockouts, one decision. Uh, what submission? No decision. And Nick Newell now inside the gate, 9-0 at a Springfield mass. Now he has no left arm past the elbow. As can general amputation, that is just how he was born. And don't ask me if it's a disability because to him, that's just the way he is. Great young fighters. We take a look at the tail of the tape brought to you by Boost Mobile. Newell, 47 years of age, 5'10", weighted at 155 pounds. Caldwell, 28 years of age, he is 5'8", and he weighed in at 156. When you go inside the cage, Tim Hughes with the official introduction. All right, ladies and gentlemen, prepare for a battle in this matchup of lightweight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing first. Standing on my left and fighting out of the blue corner. None of this stand-up fighter's cage battles have gone the distance. Of his nine professional career wins, eight have come by way of knockout against just one career loss. He stands five feet eight inches tall, and he weighed in at an even 156 pounds. Training with Team Reality, he's here tonight from Moultrie, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, Kia, the Black Assassin! side of the cage, this wrestler has become an inspiration for many inside and outside the cage. A former lightweight champion with an unblemished professional record of nine wins and no losses. At five feet ten inches tall, he weighed in at 155 pounds. Training at American Top Team, he comes to California from Springfield, Massachusetts. Please welcome Nick to the time. Again, your referee for this contest is Michael Bell. And the same thing here with Nick Newell from his nine victories, also only one decision. Six submissions, though, and two knockouts. Is this one of those fights where you look at Bob and say, this one is not going to go the distance? This, oh, it's going to be hard. Uh, a very hard fight. Keon Caldwell, he's a tough fighter. They gave, like, five options to Nick Newell, and he chose to score with his heart.
plays, I thought I would beat him. And this is one of them. You know, you talked about the fight on the feet. You landed some good stuff. You actually ate a big right hand early in the fight. It looks like she dropped you. What was going through your mind when that happened? Uh, it was hard. Uh, props to him. You know, uh, my team is, is the best, man. I want to give a, a big thanks to this guy, Jeremy Lebachevsky and Scott Labrie at Fighting Arts Academy. They, uh, I mean, they're, they're the best training you could get in the world. And they, uh, you know, I live at Jared's house when I'm training, and I really am a part of the family. So, you know, great coaches and great teammates. You know, my, my jiu-jitsu is, you know, nothing to mess with. I can hang with anyone in the world. Uh, you know, Calvin Drelly, BJJ as well. And, uh, you know, I don't know. A lot of people dream about making it this far, and I'm here and I won. And I got a lot of training partners and people along the way that didn't make it. And, and to really be... You know, living the dream and knowing how hard I work and how much this means to me and how many people wish they could get here and I'm here. I know what it's like to be at the bottom and now I'm at the top, but I'm not letting anyone take it away.